Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. I'm really glad you're here. I got this really big box from Chanel. It is called a makeup takeaway. And there are two different versions. I went with this one. I'm going to show you what they both look like. We're going to try out the products in here and Maybe add a little other Chanel to it to get a complete look. We'll have to see how far we can get with what's inside the box. So let me give you a little background. So the Chanel Makeup Takeaways is what they're calling them. It says the Chanel Makeup Takeaways Collective is a creative collaboration between Comet Collective members Cecilia Paravina and Valentina Lee and the House's Makeup Creation Studio. So there are two exclusive to-go accessories bearing, bearing the Chanel logo and each has four products in it that are reimagined into new shades and from a range of looking from natural to bold. This particular one is called the Nature Getaway. And this one is recalling the naturally glowing appearance of a day spent in the great outdoors. Valentina Lee designed a kit that plays with a variety of pink hues from vibrant to tender. Answer the call of the wildlife, Ombre Essential in 822 Rose in Hand, a pearlescent eyeshadow. Balm Essential in 823 Morning Dew, a moisturizing hydrating balm. Le Liner Chanel in 824 Heartbeat for a striking flash of color. And Rouge Coco Flash in 825 Bisou, an ultra shiny lipstick offered in a case made to resemble a book. Okay, I'm excited. So there were two different boxes. This is what, this is the one that I got. The one that I did not get, I'll put up here. It's called the City Break. It says, Cecile Paravina explores contrast through daring colors and luminous effects, which feel like a vivid interlude in the heart of a bustling city. Ombre Premier Lac in 833 Grasshopper, an intensely metallic eyeshadow. La Rouge Duo Ultra Tenue in 834 Defendu. Defendu and 835 Erotica for lips with high shine, and Le Vernice in Flesh, which is a bright nail lacquer, pressed into a lunch bag style pouch you can take on the go. So I get a dip manicure, so the nail polish one like didn't make me excited, but that green shirt, <laughs> I love that, it's beautiful. And the liquid lips I have not tried because I'm just not a liquid lip person. So I went with the Nature Getaway. We're going to open it together. I've got a little golden retriever back here. So this is how it opened. And let's take a look at what's inside here. Okay. Okay, the first one is the Ombre Essential Multi-Use Long-Wearing Eyeshadow in 822 Rose in Hand. I love opening things like this. It's so fun. It's like a surprise. I love these little mini shadows that they did these singles. Ooh, ooh. That is really pretty. I would definitely call this more of a coral than a pink, but 
Nice shimmer. Isn't that pretty? Let's get a good swatch here. Ooh, that's fun. This is fun because there's like little, little teeny tiny, like, I, I'm not even gonna call it glitter. They're like little micro dots. And I think that the shine is really pretty without being crazy. It's just a very soft, really beautiful color. All right, that was good. That was exciting. I'm excited about that. The next thing we'll take out is the Rouge Coco Flash in 825 Bisou. It's fun. It's like a mystery. Ooh, it's like a coral that I'll actually wear. It's got a lot of pink in it. That is gorgeous. Oh, that is my kind of coral. Anytime they put some pink into it, I'm in. All right, this I'm really excited about because this is one of my favorite products that they make. The Balm Essentials, for me, they sit on my table all the time. They're not packed away into boxes anywhere that I have to go and get because I wear them all the time. So I'm excited to see this one. This one is called Morning Dew. Here's what it looks like. And do a little swatch. Oh, I like this because it's very subtle and it's just gonna give, I think, some added light. So far, this color story is speaking to me. So I'm loving it, loving it. This I'm not as sure about for me, but I think you guys are gonna like it. And I do know that this is a big color for fall, which, blows my mind because it's not what I picture being a fall color. So I'm going to open this up for you. You guys know I'm not really a wing person. I'm like a wing-ish person. So this is the tip and I'm going to use this as a shadow, like a cream shadow to just, we'll just try to do like the edge. So there's our color story. We have the eyeshadow on top. Then we have the lipstick. Then we have the Balm Essential and the liner. What a pre, I'm like really surprised. Now this is the fun thing that's in here. They each have like their own little bag. So it says, Chanel Makeup Takeaways, The Nature Getaway. It's a little cutie. Oh. Oh. Okay, this is the front. And it opens up and you can fit things inside of here. A little pochette, a little pouch. How cute is this? I love it. Love it. Love the fun little things. Okay. Let's get this makeup on my face because I'm like really excited. Okay, I did put on a bunch of dog hair. And after that, I used, I'm really into this right now, the Swede. Guys, I think I'm going to have to order a bunch of stuff from this company because this glass skin foundation can give you a lot of coverage or a little coverage, and it doesn't feel like you have anything on. It doesn't, it doesn't tighten, it doesn't feel thick. It takes powder really well because I powdered under my eyes. I think it's fabulous. I love it, love it, love it. I put on a little bit of contour just to have a little structure. I'm just gonna put a little bronzer on. Let's do that together. All right, I'm gonna use my Phytosurgeons number four, 
rosy warmth. I cannot wait for my lip balms to arrive. I'm like holding back on all these lip products. It's going to be another 27 lipsticks video. I can tell you that right now. Lipsticks, lip glosses, lip, lip balms, lip, lip everything. So I just want to hit myself a little bit where the sun would. Because I just have absolutely no suntan whatsoever. Get a little bit of definition. Okay, I feel a little better. Okay, so we're going to start with the eyeshadow. And remember, this is called Rose in Hand number 822. It's so interesting. You know how sometimes there's little micro glitters that can be like a fuchsia color? These are actually like a corally color. I don't know if you're going to be able to see what I'm seeing, maybe with my phone light. See how it's got like little micro glitters? I hope that you guys can see that. All right, so we are going to go in with this eyeshadow. What I usually like to do with a look like this when they don't give you a mat. Okay, I've pulled out like a few things that we can jazz this up with, but we're gonna start with exactly what they give us. So our eyeshadow is Rose in Hand number 822. We did take a nice look at this. I want to just kind of take this across this part of my eye, but I want to get a little bit of definition just into my crease. You can do that in a couple ways. You can use a mat, and I happen to have Coral Treasure. So I could go in and use one of these. You could find a coral just to put in the crease. But I think I want a little bit more definition. You can always go into one of your really neutral palettes or into your bronzer. I mean, that's really easy. I'm just going to take one of these colors, one of the lighter, cool tones, so that I can build a crease here. Now, right here is where my eye is at its worst. And I want to make sure that this right here is showing when my eye is open. So, I like to mark it. And then I'm not looking to make this very dramatic at this point. I just want just to have a little definition. When you're using colors like this, you can really ground a look in, in your neutrals. And then you're really only taking like a small risk with the color. Because I know what that feels like. I, you know, I go, I vacillate between like, Loving, loving colors, and then looking at myself in a neutral, and I'm just like, oh, why did I wear that color? But then they look so fun, and you know, you want to be like adventurous, you don't want to be boring. So, this is just how I make sure that sort of the eyeshadow doesn't really get lost. I'm going to check and make sure now that we can see up here and up here that I have eyeshadow. Okay, that's perfect. I'm wiping off this brush, but we are going to go to Sonia G T5 because it's the flat, flat brush. And I want to pick up some of this pigment. I don't want to pick up a ton because I think we're going to have a little kick. Yeah, a little kick back. 
and we're just going to go directly on the lid, but I'm going to be patting at the beginning to try to see if we can get, there we go, a really smooth look. What a beautiful shade. Mm. You know, I always have a problem thinking about coral because if it doesn't go pink enough, it just turns orange on me. And it's not my best color. But I think that when you have small touches, which is probably what these will become, is small touches in other looks. I think it's very pretty and very summer. And I'm so glad that there's like a little summer release here to offset the fact that I just saw Valentine's Day 1. I was like, slow down there. It was a little shocking. So that's like a really pretty color. I want to take a little on my lower lash line, see what that looks like. I'll have to do this again after we put mascara on, but that's okay. Very, very pretty. I'm gonna use my finger now just to try to get a little bit more opacity. Oh, that's much better. Really pretty. What do you guys think? I think it's really pretty actually, I really do. Okay, okay, I can do this, this is good, okay. I found a Chanel pencil. I'm hoping they still make this. This is the 158 Rose Natural. Let's take a look. They do. This is Rose Natural, and I think it's going to be really pretty. I like my lip liner lately to actually blend into my lip. I've been doing a lot less of the heavy contouring. Kind of like the same way I felt about like the messy eyebrows or plucking all your eyebrows out like we did in the, in the olden days, the 1900s. Um, it's a really pretty color. And it's right there in the Rose family. So we're going to try this Rouge Coco Flash, which I really like this formula. It's really pretty. Get great shine. And look at that color payoff in one swipe. See how much pink is in this? This is the kind of coral that you don't have to be afraid of because there's enough, there's enough pink going on that you can avoid feeling really orange if you're like me. We'll put on our Bon Essential and see if we do get any color or not. I usually like to use my fingers to warm the product up. And then, I will dot it, give myself some shine. I like that it's called morning dew because I like to call this youth dew. Because <laughs> I think that it makes us look like we're very youthful with the skin that still has some life left in it. This is really pretty, very light. Not sparkly. I 
I think really it is very pretty, very subtle. If we had to add a blush, we could definitely do something like this that looks very orange in here, but it's not. It's very much more pink on. Oh yeah, you guys, I think this is going to be the one. I just put a stripe in between here. That's like perfect. So these you can get at Ulta. These are the, the number one. I'm going to have to look up the number because it's all scratched off. But I can see that it ends in the word pink. Helpful. <laughs> okay, I think it's one Ulta. Do they just not even sell this anywhere but at Ulta? I believe this is called Wake Up Pink. We're going to wake up and have a little pink. I'm just going to dot this pretty close to my eye and kind of up high because I think it's really pretty sort of continuing the color story on the eye into the cheek. I like that. I like it up high. I do like that sort of continuous looking coral. Very pretty. I like that a lot. It just gives you a little bit more color. And then we'll re-up re this a little. Make sure it's front and center. Very pretty. Wow. Okay. Now here's the trick. We're going to try to get me to use liquid liner. I gave up on liquid liner a long time ago. My eyes are hooded, but they also are sort of falling down. Now I'd really like to get them lifted at some point. So doing a regular wing is not usually for me, but in the interest of science and all that is holy here at Chanel, I am going to try to use this at the edge of my lashes as like a little peekaboo. And <laughs> I'm actually going to put this onto a different brush, like so. This brush, brush gives me more control. I'm resting my pinky here. I'm just gonna go to the edge right here and just slightly open my eye. And I just want it to follow this same shape. These are my favorite little blenders. And I can pull this up a little bit. And then I can soften it. I don't mind that. I mean, there are definitely people out there that love to do the wing liner. And I used to love wearing wing liner. I was all about the wing liner before wing liner was like a thing. We used to go to Barney's in the city. And the people who worked there were so talented. They all went on to these like 
amazing careers as like global, you know, director of different companies. I mean, just they were the nice people. And we had so much fun. We'd like go put makeup on, not really eat. (laughs) Because the makeup was so expensive. It was like during the time like when NARS was the only game in town. Okay, so see how that one pulled out just kind of easily? Let's try those. I also think this is going to be really pretty if you have the Coral Treasure. That's my dog drinking his water, by the way. Very thirsty guy. It's like 90 degrees here. Okay. So, I don't know if this is quite me, but managed to get a little tiny wing, which is all I wanted. There are people that are going to do graphic gorgeousness with this. And I, you guys, I can't believe fuchsia is like the color for winter. What's the matter, boo-boo? He's very needy right now because my husband and my son are way. <laughs> and Hi. Come here, you. Come say hello to everybody. Come here. Oh, you're so, so sweet. Are you going to try your new bed? Are you going to try out your new bed? Oh, you really? Oh, you're talking. Oh, you're just so sweet. You're so sweet. Let's see if I can get you in the shot. I'm going to finish my video. Okay, so that was sunny. Still is sunny. Hello. What are you looking at? What what are you looking at, you little silly? What are you looking at? Okay, I'm almost done. All right, so... You can also do things like things you've already bought. Coral from last year, a little dark for this. Um, Here's the Coral Treasures again. I think what I'm going to do is use the shadows and I'm actually going to use one of these little thingies and I'm going to take the pink color that looks a lot like this liner and I'm just going to soften it on my eye because I'm not digging my liner skills over here but this is a great fix you can always do things in a shadow first. You can go over it with a pen if you want, or you can do what I'm doing and smudge after. Because I think that the whole point is not, at least for me, it's not about the wing anymore. It's about the lift. So if I'm going to get a lift, I want it to be substantial. And now this is just like a wow. How fun is this? I I would never have like walked in and said, just give me all of your coral makeup, please. Just not something that I would have done. Yet, I like it. Okay. I'm feeling like we might need a little more cheek. 
A lot of color to compete with over here. There we go. And I just want to make sure everything like kind of blends into each other here. These are so great. These number one sh uh, things that they have at Ulta. I have like, I think I have all of them. And anytime I, I need like a blush color, like in a cream, it comes through. I don't love these for the lips, but I love a cream on the cheeks. We used the eyeshadow. We used the lips, this Rouge Coco Flash, which we need a little more of. Feels so good. It's like very cushiony. Um, okay. Just thinking out loud, I pulled out a couple things just to like talk. You probably have, oh, sorry, you probably have one of the Le Beige or more than one of the Le Beige blushes. I mean, you could definitely add this. This is called Rose Polaire. I feel like they've been telling us a story the whole year because we had a lot of repeat colors. I really feel like it would have been kind of cool to understand that at the beginning so that when you were buying stuff, you were making sure that you were doing the kinds of colors of the direction that you wanted to go because it started with kind of the, we had the blue, which was gorgeous, the Rivage, and the Coral Treasure with the pink and the um, coral. And we've evolved into having a bunch of different coral things and a bunch of different rose things and a bunch of different mauve things. And it would have been so nice to know like, hey, these are the colors that we're concentrating on. We're going to give them to you in different textures. We're going to give them to you in different forms. We're going to give them to you in ways that you might not expect to use them. But overall, when you're doing your buying, you might want to think about this. I would have loved that information because for me, you know, I was sort of like grabbing at different things. And now it's like, I wish I had blank. I wish I had blank. My one huge regret was not getting the mauve of the Le Beige. I have to see if that's available again. I think the Jardin Imaginaire from um, this color one would be great with that. Oh, did, did I seriously just show you like food? Okay, <laughs> the more coral color one. Guys, they restocked all the Le Beige trios. That's kind of exciting. They still have Rose's Coquillage. Oh, here's Le Beige. Oh my God, they have the moth. Okay, so we don't have mascara on yet or eyeliner, so we're going to do that. Honestly, I am thinking, I'm thinking black because this is a lot of color. I really want my lashes to be very lashy and dramatic. So I'm going to go in with the soon to be sharpened. You know that this is gonna happen. There are certain sharpeners that are made for certain companies. An Instagram post from the Lipstick Lesbians and she was talking about how each sharpener is made for the particular pencil that you're using and that there are very few that are like interchangeable. And when you find one that is, you have to like kind of hold on to it. Some of them have like two holes or whatever, but she was really, it was really interesting. You know, when they go and they make the, all these pencils, they have to make a sharpener specifically for that pencil. They're all like 
a little bit different in what they're made, the way that they cut. I'm just doing this, some out this way and some this way, just to make it a little bit easier for me. And what I'm doing here is just going in and I'm really tight lining between those lashes. This is going to give the mascara a great base. And I really build it up. And I like to do the whole waterline. But putting most of the hard work on these two ends so that when you put your mascara on behind it, I can get like a good big lash. Okay, so epic fail on these. These are going back. I don't understand the Westman Italia mascara. It is I don't think it does anything to give you length or volume. Like, I, I just don't see it. Vast Lash every single time. It's got this great brush. The pigment is so black. I mean, just perfectly black. And I really wiggle down at that bottom edge and then just take them up doing the wiggle see and then you get a really great fanned out look What I find is that kind of holding them up for a minute, like kind of wiggling like this, let's get like some of those ends. And over here, you want to really press at the bottom so that the whole lash is standing. I'm just holding it. And then I'm just going to take this on the bottom, just a little bit. And we're going to go over here. I mean, is there anything like that you can't say about this mascara? Because it's just the best mascara. And until something's better, that's what I'm using. All right, let's break it down about this look. I honestly was not expecting to like it this much. I was a little nervous about the coral, but the other box did not excite me. So I went for it and I am so glad that I did because now that I have all these pieces, I will probably give this pink eyeliner to a young girl who will make gorgeous designs on her beautiful lids. Okay, I can live with that. Um, the rose blush with this blush, I mean, you can get whatever you want blush-wise from Chanel. A powder, or you can do a cream. They all work. You can definitely if you want to do a couple dots on Fantasy de Chanel because you feel like taking it out and just putting a little bit. It goes perfectly. This one I didn't think so. When I initially went to 
look at the box because I hadn't opened it yet. I was thinking to myself, boy, they did a really good one. I think it was last spring. Delices. And even though this is not like available anymore, these colors go beautifully. And also, you know, I know it's terrible to say this out loud, but if you were one of the people that bought the, the Dior for spring, I mean, you've got all these colors that you could work into this look by just adding that one color to it would be beautiful. So I think this is a really versatile, great little kit. Love the lippy, love the eye, except for the, the pink. Um, I feel like I could have gotten the same result from, and so many of these look the same. I want you to watch this. So if I take my pink and I wanna do a wingish, See how nice the powder just goes where you, where you want it to, really small. You can put it right there at the edge. And if you want to, you can take your pointed Q-tip, give yourself that little shift. And you're going to have a little wingish. Much better than working through those wrinkles with a wet stick. I can't handle it. <laughs> I feel like it's such torture and it used to be so pretty and fun. All right, you guys, I think this is a fun collection. I'm excited about my little bag. I thought that the other one was really great also. So if you're kind of into that green liquid kind of eyeshadow and you love their nail polish and those two-sided lip things, you just can't lose with these. These are adorable. The green one looks like a little lunch sack. I'll put it up here so you can see it. But yeah, I mean, I think it's a fun little collection. They really have been doing quite a bit. I want a little of this color here. I'm gonna take a teeny little bit of the eyeshadow and see what I think about that being in the blush. Could be making a horrible mistake. I kind of like it. Just kind of, I like when when things are in different places, like this color. If you're gonna put it up here, if this color here, I like I like that balance. I think this is a fun kit, you guys. The swatches are great. I think the colors are beautiful. I think that they hit it out of the park. I think their vision so far this year has been very, very spot on. I think they've taken Chanel to a different place, um, still staying within the spirit of Chanel, but maybe with a little bit of a younger spin to it. I'm enjoying all of these releases. Gotta tell you, Every Bomb Essential is fantastic. If you're only going to buy one, I recommend, it's this one called Sculpting. And the reason why I recommend this is because it is literally just, I'm a bad hand to do it, I'm so to my sparkles. It's just a pretty reflect. I mean, that's, as strong as it's going to be, but this one color can be used universally 
with any look because all you're doing really is adding some light. They also have a clear if you're into just having a little bit of shine. I like this one that's got a tiny bit of the pearl essence, a tiny bit of the champagne. I just think it catches the light really beautifully. And that's what got me into the Bomb Essentials was just that first one that I tried. And now it's like, I want them all. <laughs> Definitely want them all. So feel free to add some, some of your lavender to this, some of your yellow. I mean, look how pretty this would be with this color. Do you dare me? Just a teeny bit. I wish I had a lavender liner. Do I have a lavender liner? Well, heck yeah, I do. I've got the neon dahlia right here. All of these liners from summer are in the fall palettes as mats. So all of these sticks that they have, the stylos, if you look at the colors of these and you go and look at the colors of the, the quads, the matte quads, they are these colors. So if you want to add sparkle to your look using the exact color, you can do that. Look how pretty the purple is with this. And you can use these as eyeshadow. They're just great. So my final thoughts are, Chanel, you've been busy. <laughs> you've been very busy for your 100th birthday. Um, I do think that we've had a few misses here and a little bit of repetition. I think that they really have a vision in mind. It it'll be interesting to see how they wrap it up with the holidays. But it's really been a tale of coral, rose, and mauve when you come down to the nitty gritty. Um, I think that the textures were really a part of what they were thinking about. You know, as somebody who wears neutral looks most of the time, or something monochromatic like this where I can pull it off and I don't feel like I look like I'm trying to be 18. Although, if I could look 18, that'd be mine too. <laughs> I would not throw that away. Um, I just, I think that they had a really interesting story to tell that I wish they would have unfolded for us. I wish that they would have given us a little bit of guidance as we go through it so that we know that th there are going to be repeating shades. So if you want to buy this color from this group and this color from this group, it eventually is all going to come together like this has. Because I feel like when you buy, you know, pieces from different collections, Sometimes it's hard to figure out what to incorporate. I mean, you've got your, your split blush with the pink and the, the coral color. That would be beautiful with this. Yeah, like um, th this is the girl with the CCs on her eye. That would not be me. It would look like I was doing like scribbling. So the Jardin Imaginaire would be beautiful with this. The Healthy Glow Powders, I could have pulled that out too. The Le Beige Bronzing Cream. There are so many ways to keep coming back around. Like the Coquillage, Rose's Coquillage, that would have been part of this. It just would have been kind of interesting if they had just given us a glimpse into the long term so that when we were purchasing things, because they are so expensive and they are treasured, you know, these are little treasures, all of them, because 
we pay a lot for them and they are fun because they're luxury and Chanel has a certain aesthetic that is very appealing to people because I feel like they never do too much. And so I leave you with this. I think this is cute. I think this is fun. I think it's was a great collection. Fall is in a few weeks. And then the holidays. So we've seen at least the eyeshadows that are coming for fall. Grab some of these stylos, guys. I'm telling you, take a look at the two quads. I'm going to put them up here. And you'll see that you have all mattes and that the colors, I'm going to order the rest of these. This is where you're going to get your sparkle from for that exact color. So just a little tip. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I am really excited that our channel is growing. And I would love, love to have you subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Please ring the bell so you know when I upload. And the thumbs up, you guys, it really helps. Leaving a comment helps. Everything helps the algorithm when you get involved with it. Of course, I will have a shop my shelf ready to go with all of these products and i'm going to add back in some of the other things from the past collections so that we can i don't know look at it as colors maybe reorganize that a little bit so now you did it again it's just pretty makeup you know and quite honestly I mean, I'm doing this. Just a tiny little bit of light. See, you can add little touches from all the collections and get exactly what you're looking for. I hope this was fun for you guys. It was really fun for me. And you go, Chanel. I wonder who's going to be in the Comet next year. I wonder if they've picked people or if somebody else is going to be the creative director. It's so, things are so up in the air right now with a lot of, rearranging of fashion houses and such so we'll see what happens when the dust settles and where everybody winds up but thanks again for being here i will see you guys all very soon Mwah. take care bye <laughs>